And so we are confronted with uh, the calls for deficit reduction. Right. Then, of course, Congressman Paul Ryan has produced his budget. And what has been amazing to me, how people are hailing him as this huge visionary uh, for offering this up when, first of all, that's his job as uh, head of the budget committee. <laughs> that's right. Um, but when you look at the things that he's talking about cutting. Right. When you talk about Medicare, Medicaid, and you have to confront entitlement reform, very little of that six trillion or so he's talking about cutting comes from defense. Right. And so it seems as if, oh, we'll cut the two major pieces, but not really tackle defense the way, frankly, he should. Exactly. But let me go back to something you said, because you said that he's being heralded as this visionary. But actually, if you dissect his document, the pathway to prosperity, which I would call the pathway to despair, if you look at that, there are really no new ideas there. It's not new to say that we need to privatize Social Security. It's not new to say that we need to dismantle Medicare and Medi Medicaid. Those are actually old ideas. And so what his budget is leading to is actually increasing the deficit. And why? because he wants to make the tax cuts to millionaires and the subsidies to oil companies permanent. So if you're really serious about tackling the deficit, you need to tackle it in a balanced way. And we had many speakers come before the budget committee who confirmed that. You have to look at revenue. You can't balance the budget and end the deficit through cuts alone. So when you hear uh, the attacks on uh, getting folks off welfare and food stamps, uh, when you hear folks suggest on the other side that far too much money is being spent as it relates to uh, those Medicare and Medicaid, yet uh, you don't hear the same sort of attack on corporate welfare in terms of the subsidies corporations are getting. I mean, it amazes me, again, so I guess some welfare is good. And some welfare is bad. Well, well interestingly, uh, again, looking at his document, what Ryan has chosen to do is redefining corporate welfare. And you would be amused by his definition because he's actually saying that we need to end alternative energy projects. We need to remove regulations. He calls those corporate welfare. So he attempts to capture our language, redefine it, which, you know, essentially is doing the opposite. But let's take Medicare and Medicaid, for example. You know, you might want to attack Medicaid because you're against poor folks. But when you really look at Medicaid, the majority of it is spent on nursing home care. Nursing home does not cover, is not covered in Medicare. So you are looking at elderly, you're looking at people who are disabled, and you're looking at children. They are the primary users, beneficiaries of Medicaid.